What's up kitchen table wizards, what's up deck brewers from all over the world here at Casual MTG Decks we are going to build a nice deck built around plus one plus one counters with some dryads, with some unicorns and also with an alternate win condition and we're even going to take a few extra turns let's go So I'm back and who's also back is our intern Nora. Yes, I'm back. So is my green and blue deck that we were rolling together ready? Well, yes and no. Uh, do you mind if we add white as well? Um, but I wanted a blue green deck. Ah, yes, but, but this one has unicorns in it. Well, blue, green, white it is. Great. Now, as you know, I built all my casual decks in paper so I could play it in my little gauntlet. And as you can see, uh, this little hobby of mine can get a little bit out of hand. To help Brown with his addiction, give this video a like and subscribe. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, well, you know, I buy all my cardboard at Card Market. They are really the best place to get your singles, to get your boosters, to get your magic product in Europe. And if you're new to Card Market and you want to try it out, well, check out the info in the description below because there you can find how you can claim a 5 euro sign up voucher for you to try out Card Market for free, get yourself some singles, get yourself a booster. It's for free just to try out Card Market. So, really, check out the link and you also help the channel by doing so. Now, let's head into the magical forest and find us some unicorns. So this is really a nice budget friendly but super cool brew that you can build for around 20 euros, 30 dollars. Now I did add two cards that make it a little bit more expensive but it's still around 50 US dollars. So let's start with the lands. Okay, let's start with the lands. John Avon is one of my favorite MTG artists and for this deck I've chosen 3 basics with his art. 6 forests, 5 plains and 4 islands. As this is a budget deck I opted for 6 life gain dual lands to help fix my mana. But you'll notice later that the life gain here in this deck is also very useful. I've also added 2 lands from Kaltheim that add counters. And the last land, Vastwood Ticket, is the backside of this little combat trick called Vastwood Fortification. Now I made this deck with a lot of one-offs in it. It's how I like to make my casual decks to get the maximum amount of fun and pleasure out of the decks and so I can play them for a long time and also to give you some nice inspiration for some combos. Now let's start with the creatures. Quirion Dryad would be my built around card in a 5 color Dryad deck. But also in this deck it's a great 2 drop. As our deck has more than 20 spells that would add a counter on it. And that's 2 counters in combination with this Conclave Mantor. Really strong card for a counter strategy. Luminarch Aspirant adds a counter every turn. And the Merfolk Skydiver it's almost as good as the river hoopoo. Almost. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, so the merfolk adds a counter, it's a flyer and it can proliferate. Against graveyard decks you want this scavenging ooze which adds counters and gains life. And this art is really my favorite. Now since this card came out in 2014, I really wanted to brew a deck around it. Now this deck is not really built around it, but I'm going to try it in the deck because I think it will work really well. The Sage of Hours gets a counter when you target it with a spell. And the cool part is that you can remove all counters and for each five counters removed, you can take an extra turn, which is... Nora? Amazeballs? Yes! 
In the tree drop slot we find a frog that protects our sage and a wizard that sends our creatures into the air and of course also gives them counters. Our first unicorn in the deck is this good fortune unicorn that adds counters to each creature. And another great dryad is this Knight of Autumn. It adds counters, it's removal or life gain, a very good card. Fertilith helps us ramp and search for our basics. And with Rishkar, each creature with a counter on it is now a mana producer. And this Merfolk doesn't only has a six pack, Damn, son. He's also awesome with the Sage of Hours to help us get some extra turns. Our second unicorn in the deck is also great with our 15 cards that give us life. As for every life you gained, you get a counter and you can distribute these on any number of creatures. So you can put one on this Phaeton Mage and draw a card. In the 5 drop slot we find Roalesk Apex Hybrid, a flying trampling mutant that adds 2 counters on another creature and when it dies you proliferate twice. Up next is this iridescent horn beetle. He is our top notch defensive creature in the deck. And it makes an insect token for each counter you put on a creature. So I already bought my second deck box for this deck to put all the insect tokens in. Because you're going to need a lot of them. Constable of the Realm from Modern Horizons 2 has this great ability. Whenever one or more counters are put on him, exile another non-land permanent until he leaves the battlefield. So if your opponent doesn't have an answer for this, yeah, they're really in a world of hurt. This doubling fish has been reprinted in Double Masters. It is also a must include in our deck. And as we are building around counters, Tanazir Quandrix is also a great include. Also doubling the counters and a flying dragon is always nice to have. The last creature in the deck is this Paragon, which has a crazy ability. Whenever you gain life you can put that many counters on each creature you control. So with the 15 life gain cards in the deck, this card is really, really crazy. Now let's add some enchantments and artifacts to give us some more counters. If you exclude Ozolith in this deck, it will become a little bit cheaper. But it's a great card in the deck, so I included one copy. Whenever creatures with counters die, all those counters go on this weird little artifact. And at the beginning of combat, you can move all these counters on, say, a Sage of Ours. And then take some extra turns. This bow of Nylea is also great with our Paragon and Latiel the Unicorn. But it could also add counters and deal with small flyers or even protect against the mill deck. Yeah exactly, this bow is great for shooting at crabs. The second expensive card is Hardened Scales. It's a Conclave Mentor in the form of an enchantment for just one mana. But you can also play another Conclave Mentor instead to save yourself some money. A few videos ago Nora asked us to brew around Simic Ascendancy and this is the perfect deck for it. Getting to 20 counters is not that hard with all the doubling effects. So you can win the game outright with this win condition. And speaking of doubling effects, Hydra Growth does exactly that. And it does it each turn. So it's one of the only cards of which I play two copies. Ordeal of Heliod is great with Latiel, but especially with our Paragon. Giving all our creatures 10 counters is probably enough to deal a knockout blow. Now in this deck we need some time to set up and this Captured by the Weird Lizard is a removal spell that I want to try as it also has support too. The last enchantment in our deck is Fall of the Imposter. It adds counters and it's also a removal spell. We're almost done with the deck but let's add some more tricks. Let's add 5 instants. 
Snake Veil protects our most valuable creatures against spot removal. And a flexible Light of Hope is also great in this deck. Smell Fear is also a good removal spell at instant speed and both Pledge of Unity and of course also Quandrix Command are must includes. So I think the Sage of Hours really found a home in this deck. You slap an ordeal of Heliod on it, then attack, gain 10 life, and when you have a Nyctos Paragon out, the Sage can give you multiple extra turns. So Nora, I hope you are happy with your unicorn deck. Yeah, okay, great. Uh, I'm also going to make someone else happy. Let's look and find out who won our card market voucher this week. Congrats, Nostromo. You win our 10 euro card market voucher of the week. Check out the info in the description below the video to find out how you can claim your voucher. So this was this week's deck. Make sure to give me some inspiration because I am still looking for some epic matchups for our summer gauntlet. Put them in the description below, give the video a like, subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff, but mainly, as always, keep it casual.